PDF files and bringing them all into the same PDF. So I have a PDF file that I've mailed out to a couple of my colleagues. Um, I'm going to add some comments on my mobile device. They're adding comments. And then when I get all the PDF files back, I want to be able to sort of aggregate them back to the original PDF file. Um, so while I'm doing this demo, I won't be able to see all of the questions and comments that come in on the chat pod. However, there are some folks from Adobe standing by, so they'll be answering questions as well. Um, so feel free to add questions and comments. Um, so to begin, I'm going to start over on my mobile device, adding some comments to a PDF file. So on my phone here, I'm going to come over here and tap on Acrobat Mobile. From my list of recents, I'll come down here and change that to Document Cloud. And I'm going to start with the Iceland Golden Circle PDF. So again, I sent this out to some of my colleagues, but I'm going to take a look at this as well. So once I have this open, I'm going to come in here and just start to review the document. So I'm going to pinch and zoom up here and just sort of look at the first and second pages and the spread. And so what I want to do is come in here and add some of my own comments. So the first thing I see here is the word root is misspelled. So what I'm going to do is down in the bottom, the second icon, I can tap on this to invoke commenting. I can also tap on the blue icon in the upper left and come down and choose comment here. In either case, I'm going to get a new set of tools down across the bottom. And I'm going to come in here and simply tap on the first tool, which is the add a comment tool. Let's come up here and tap on the word root. This is the speech bubble tool. And I'll come in here and just say that this word is misspelled. So I'll type in misspelled. And I'm misspelling misspelled. Uh, misspelled root, R-O-U-T-E. So with that in place, I'm going to come up and tap save in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Let's find Iceland that needs to be capitalized. So I'll do the same thing. I'll put a speech bubble on here. I'll write capitalize Iceland. There we go. Then hit save. So I'll pinch out of here a little bit. Let's go over to page two. I'm just going to review the look here. And one thing I don't like is the way the photo is cropped here. I don't like this little sort of uh, mountain here at the bottom. I want a nice clean edge. So I'm going to just pinch and zoom so I get this somewhere in the middle. I'll come down here and tap on the pencil tool. And with my finger, I'm just going to click and drag and draw a circle around that area. Once I've drawn my circle, I'm going to hit save in the upper right hand corner. So once I've saved the shape that I've drawn, I can now tap on this and make additional changes to it. So the first thing I'll do is come in here and change the color. We'll change this from blue to red so it shows up a little bit more. I'm going to tap this again, hit thickness. We'll bring this down to maybe three points. It doesn't need to be that thick. And then I can come in here and tap again and just sort of move this around. Two fingers, I'm going to pinch and zoom down. And then I'm going to grab the corners and just make this a little larger. Position this where I want this. And then I'm going to hit my speech bubble tool. I'll tap in the center here and I'll just say change the crop. So that sounds good. I'll come in here and hit save. So I've added some comments here. I'm going to close out of my comments. Hit the left arrow. I'm now going to close out of the document. I hit the left arrow again up here next to the uh, blue pages icon. And that'll bring me back to document cloud. So now that I've made changes, Acrobat Mobile is saving these changes back to Document Cloud. So I'm going to set my mobile device down. I'll move this off the main screen here. And then back on my desktop, I'm going to go back to Document Cloud. So once this has a chance to sync, I'm going to come in here and double click on the Golden Circle PDF and open this up on my desktop version. So here we can see all of the comments are now added. If I hover over these, I can see that this is misspelled, capitalize Iceland, and my comment and a drawn shape here for changing the crop of that image. So now at this point, I want to add in comments I've gotten through email from my other clients. So if I come over here and just sort of close this down, I've gone ahead and saved those PDF files out on the desktop. So I'm going to come up here and double click the comments I got from Kim. So this is a separate PDF file and she's named this with her name. So in here I can see all of the comments that she's added. And then if I open up Mike's file, we can see the comments he's added. So I can review these. But again, it would be much more efficient if I could have all of these comments back in one PDF file. So I'm going to come in here and close both Mike and Kim's PDFs. And with this PDF file open, I'm going to come over here to comments. And we can get to comments either on the right sidebar if you've saved that, or we can come over to the tools panel, scroll down and activate comments. In either case, I'm going to get my tools across the top 
and I'll also get this list of comments on the right hand side here. So I'm going to come over here and click on the little ellipsis and come down and choose import data file. What that's going to do is allow me to import field data back into this original PDF file. So I'll come over here and select Kim's file. I'll come down and choose select. Move this over so you can see it. I'll click select. I'm going to close this down so we can see all of the new comments. And now in this list, we can see all of Kim's comments have now been added to this original PDF file. So we'll do the same thing one more time. Let's come over here, choose import data file. We'll choose Mike's file, click select. And now Mike's files are being added to this PDF as well. So now I have all of these PDF files sort of gathered in one place. And I do see one question coming in from Josephine who's asking, um, what she's saying is I don't have to export FDF data to use this feature. Um, and I think what she's referring to is the fact that when you use form data fields, uh, especially for PDF forms, Acrobat stores all of that content into form data field files. And that's the way commenting works as well. However, since we are pointing to a PDF file that has comments in it, Acrobat is smart enough to pick out all of those comments and all of the individual shapes and any annotations and bring them back into that original file. So while you could use the workflow, uh, Josephine, that you're currently used to, it's much easier here to just simply import all of the comments from that uh, PDF file. And so now I have an entire list of every comment that's been added from everybody on my team who received a copy of this PDF file. And then with the comment list here, I can go through, maybe open my original file up in InDesign and make changes. And then as I make the changes, I can click on the check mark to mark off all of the changes that have been made to make sure that I have properly addressed all of the comments in this PDF file. So um, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, the next time you have um, comments from multiple PDF files, uh, simply come over here to the ellipsis, simply import the uh, PDF file and gather all of your comments in the same PDF. Uh, so I hope you found this helpful and I hope to see you during our next episode.